Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate y'all. I've had some inquiries about personal readings. I'm not offering those right now. Um, just because my schedule won't allow it with any consistency. However, if that should ever change, I will make an announcement on the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross. It will involve aspects of money, career, love, and everything else. Uh, next week, it could be something totally different. It could be a law of attraction tarot card reading or a love reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, we had a couple jumpers. You might have heard that. I did want to say, too, um, happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating if this is your sun sign. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot then we're going to have the harvest um i'm sorry the sacred destiny your current situation you've got the ace of swords with the eight of um wands as the uh, immediate influence your subconscious has the seven of cups you've got the king of wands in the distant past the high priestess in the more recent past the three of wands is coming towards you you're represented by the seven of wands the person or situation that you're attracting is justice. You have the four of wands and your um, hopes and fears. Ace of pentacles is in the outcome here. Now, the cards, we had a big glob of cards. Well, not for me, it is. Fall out. We had the ace of wands, the two of swords, and the king of cups. Well, let's see here. You have uh, three aces. Okay. This is going to be interesting because you've got new, new, new coming in Scorpio with the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords. I would have liked to see the ace of cups, but I think it's okay without it. Um, we have the, both the three and four of wands too, which is kind of unique since we have 78 cards here. Um, so you have here two major arcana. You've got Libra showing up and you've got all the elements here. So with this two of swords, there's something about that that says an impasse, like kind of being caught in the middle. Twos are about partnerships. So I do feel for some of you, you have somebody who wants to come back around with that Ace of Wands. That is an apology. Um, but I will say, I feel like you're kind of stuck because I feel like you might have somebody new coming in. And honestly, it's going to be a King of Cups, whoever this is. It's your match. You have somebody here. It's The King of Cups is... Uh, very mature energy. It's somebody who's emotionally available. Somebody who is an absolute true partner. This is not a project. The King of Cups is not picking up a project and saying, well, they'd be good if they changed this, this, or this. I even just heard somebody say if they got their teeth fixed. You're not picking up somebody that needs to get their teeth fixed. That's not enough for you. Um, so I do feel like with this, though, in a new relationship with that Ace of Wands, too, it's going to be the spark, the chemistry is unreal with this. I mean, it really is a dynamic energy. And I do feel like you're very complimentary. I actually feel like you're more like-minded. This is not opposites attract. It's actually having two people who make sense together connecting. And so with that Ace of Wands, it's going to be an exciting period for you, Scorpio. Well, you've got here another Ace. And with this Eight of Wands, this is Brace for Change. So for some of you with all these, we're going to do this really quick a minute. With all these, this is going to be great in terms of career and money, okay? Because with the, the Ace of Swords, that's like setting your, your intentions. That's having goals and crushing them and surpassing them. With the Ace of Wands, that's something really cool is going to happen to me today. It's really feeling enthusiasm. And with that Ace of Pentacles, that runs the distance. It's long-term. It's a new chapter, but it's a new chapter in money and health and love. 
that runs the long distance. But I will say for career, this is excellent. You're going to have new opportunities all over the place. So with this together, that Ace of Wands, you set your intentions. You're very clear about what you want, and that's half the battle. Because when we're all over the place with asking, the universe delivers, you know, so it keeps responding to all these requests. And so with this Ace of Wands, excuse me, Ace of Swords, you get very clear about what you want. You get very intentional. You set your intentions. And the Eight of Wands, it's called Changes Coming. You know, but it's rapid. It's got momentum behind it. It's exciting. And so in a relationship too, though, it's like you're, you got a very upfront relationship here. The Eight of Wands is the arrows of love too. So I do feel like it's somebody, you know, if this is your sun sign, or they're going to sweep you off the your feet. It's like a male or female, doesn't matter. They don't want to see you have another trip around the sun where they're not in it. I feel like they're going to be very upfront about that. Hell, in a year from now, you could be married if that's what you want, either that or in a committed relationship. I don't see it ending anytime soon with this. So with the Seven of Cups here, you've had a strong desire, but I do feel like you're asking maybe all over the place with this. you got to be a little bit careful about this one because it can produce somewhat of a stagnant result, okay? It's, it's also, too, though, about taking off the rose-colored glasses. So for some of you, you may have given up hope for a better past, and you're all about architecting the future. You're here to have your focus be on where you're going, not where you're, you've been. Sevens are about victory and success. And so I do feel like with the Seven of Cups, it really is saying, look, I'm looking for the prize. I'm looking for that cup of gold. You know, you're not just um, here to take anything. And so with the Seven of Cups, it is going to bring in more choices. But like I said, it's being focused, okay? It's not just having a... a quantity of choices. It's having the quality, the quality choice is what we're looking for here. So with this King of Wands, this is in the distant past. Um, you may have had an opportunity to go to some kind of training or conference. It even could have been a spiritual workshop. It may have even been up to a year or so ago. And I do feel like it did something to your life path, though. Those of you that listen to some kind of spiritual teacher, I, it became some kind of a guru is what it feels like. Um, this King of Wands is very powerful energy. Wands are the upwardly mobile. And so with this, it's all about bringing in expansion. So even if it's a spiritual teaching and you're saying, well, it wasn't a work training, it's still doing something to your vibration. It's allowing for your expansion. It's allowing new doors to open. Now, in terms of a relationship too, I do feel like you've been attracting this. So even if you haven't met him so far, and this may be a lot have been happening for a while where your energy is connecting with somebody who's really solid, who's like I said, they're charming, they're confident. They may do something with teaching or consulting, or they're a supervisor of some sort. Because the King of Wands is definitely an in charge energy. And I also feel like too, this person would be very good at planning a trip, like a hiking trip or something like that. They'd know exactly where to go. You know, it's not somebody where you show up and they don't know where the hell they are and they don't, you know, it's just a mess. This is like sort of a take charge energy and it's very, very sexy. There's a very attractive energy with this. So even if you set your intentions out, it may not be here yet because you got this high priestess. And now this is not a block. I don't want it to sound like it's negative. It's It definitely is law of attraction energy, but it's also like giving you time to analyze. To be, You're not in a hurry here, okay? But this deepens that spirituality, and that may have been uh, bleeding over a bit into the King of Wands. That may be why that was coming in so powerfully. But the High Priestess, too, is also about staying true to yourself. And so, like I said, you're here to attract the best, right? Why settle for the rest when you can have the best, Scorpio? And it all begins with you, and it's right here. Her gown turns into the pool of consciousness that you see in some of the other cards, like the star or temperance. This is water, okay? So it does become this new cycle that generates movement. Her hermetic teaching is prima materia. Matter comes from the mind with this. It's a card of balance. We've got these pillars of balance here too. However, she holds that book of Torah, the laws of life on her lap because you are attracting. You're this point of attraction. You're this point of stability and new things are going to come. She's also the card of the psychic. And so for some of you, it's like trusting your intuition, your psychic 
energies, what's coming into you and trying to give you guidance. We don't want to ever shut that out. So the Three of Wands is a card of multiplication, pardon me, multiplication and growth, but it's also a bit of a card of a waiting, but with a knowing. And so with this, you see that it comes to fruition up here with that Four of Wands. So somebody here, you're not in any big hurry. It's like you can kind of just, this is an unbothered energy. It's not being, you know, he's not shaking the wand angrily or crazily trying to say, hurry up and happen. He's just saying, hey, I know this is going to happen. I know I'm part of this beautiful universe. I know there are 7 billion people in the world and there's lots of opportunities. And here's where it starts to take flight for you, Scorpio. So with the seven of wands, you've got a conquering spirit. And I do see you as moving forward. You may have a couple of challenges that come in. Um, I also feel like, too, if you're interviewing for jobs, you may find out after the fact you get a job and you might find out how many people applied. And I feel like it's a lot of people. I don't want to, I was going to say hundreds. And then I thought, God, I don't want to get anybody psyched up about it. But I do feel like you're going to be successful no matter what you do, how you present yourself. This is being in alignment. And so you have these little tiny wands sticking up. These are just day-to-day -day problems. But because you're in alignment, you can navigate around them with ease. There's nothing that gets in your way in terms of a relationship too. I mentioned before, I feel like there's somebody here who's very committed to you. And it's this kind of energy. I mean, I do. I feel like they would do anything. They're rearranging their life. That's what it feels like to be with you. So the the justice energy comes in and it brings in equilibrium and balance, but this is also very much a cause and effect energy. You get what you are, not what you ask for. It's really about that vibrational match. And so with this too, it is a card of the absolute truth, but it's also knowing that you're the cause and everyone around you is the effect. Now, in more practical terms, you've got a decision that gets made and it's a decision in your favor. So somebody here, it is going to be a job. Others of you, this is more about who you're attracting. They're integrous, they're upright, they mean what they say, they don't play games, there's nothing hidden, they have great boundaries, and what can else can I say? I mean, need I say more? There's something about them that really, and there's real love here too, but boy, are they devoted to you. Whoever this is, there's a real commitment to you and to the relationship. They want to invest in this. And I feel like overall, you're attracting situations where you're seen as being worth the investment, that, that people around you recognize that special quality within you. Well, the Four of Wands, one of the fairy tale cards of the deck, the 1111 card, pay attention to those synchronicities. They're more than just coincidence. It's the universe talking with you on the way that you can accept it, interpret it, apply it. This is Law of Attraction Energy. Now, for somebody in terms of a job, it is a bit of a stepping stone into more. So I mentioned that they'll invest with you. Some of you too, if it's something new that you're doing on your own, I do feel like it's going to lead to more. It's like you start in, if, especially if it's something with social media or online, you, si you start on one platform and move to more. You expand. Even if you're saying, I have no interest in that, I don't want to learn those other things, you might decide you do when money starts coming in. Okay, because with this, speaking of which, You've got money coming in. You're going to have a new chapter here. And this is long lasting growth. And it feels like luck, but it really is truly the alignment, kind of like I said with the Seven of Wands. And so with this, it's a new beginning and it brings in long term stability in every area. So it's manifestation. Manifesting is what the pentacles do. You're manifesting here this new chapter and it's absolutely beautiful. I told you with a relationship, they're here for this. Okay, they were, this is what they're looking for right here. So I definitely feel like they're in it for the long-term commitment. They're not looking to just play games. They really do. They have real love for you, but they really do want to be in the future with you. So let's see here, Scorpio. This is the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. What else does Scorpio, what other messages do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Scorpio need to know, please? All right, so we've got here, oh, it says this is such a pretty card, Illumination. So this is the mist rising on Alpine Lake. They're telling you when you have this that your spiritual life is expanding, and we got into that, didn't we? 
it's expanding by leaps and bounds though with this. So even if you can't see what lies ahead of you, they're trying to tell you spirit's always close at hand. Spirit is always around you. So if you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you think and see. It's like having that blind faith and you'll be guided in a wondrous direction with this one. So good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you and I'll be back again soon.